Hello everybody. If you have a Kenmore or Panasonic canister vacuum that has a hose on it like this, this is the machine end of the hose, and you've broken your clip, so this little clip right here which holds it inside the machine, you've broken your clip and you want to replace the cuff fitting, well, let me show you how to do that. I already have this apart, but these cuffs normally either have two pins or three pins sitting here. Let me use the three pin version as an example to demonstrate. You're trying to get this cuff off so you can either clean up these contact rings or clean up these contacts here if you're not getting a good electrical connection between the handle end, which is up here, the handle end of your hose and the machine end. So we're talking about the machine end here. Whether you're using the, the three prong or the two prong version, the disassembly is exactly the same. So let me reassemble this for you. And I'm gonna leave it off of the hose because it's easier to demonstrate. So when the hose cuff is on, this swivels, and how do you release it? If you look very closely right here, and here you'll see that there are two tabs. You need to depress both of those tabs and when you do that, I'll show you on the two-prong version, so when you release those two clips this piece will slide out. It is this ridge right here that is holding the hose in place. That ridge rides along the, inside this groove right here. So when you pry it apart, that locking mechanism, when this slides out, that locking me mechanism is no longer engaged in this groove. So. To press both tabs, I got one there, got the other tab to press now, and the part itself will just slide right out. See how I've done that? Here's a good view of the cuff cleaned up. You can see that these contacts are much cleaner. There's a little bit of lubricant on them, so I would try to leave some of the lubricant that's there on. Just carefully pick away at the big chunks of dirt and dust. This shows you how the electrical contact works. So once you depress these two tabs, you should be able to grab the cuff, as I've shown here with my left hand, and pull the cuff. And when you pull the cuff, that will pull this plug out at the same time. So release the two tabs and pull on the cuff. This switch contact mechanism should come out with the cuff. Now you can see how electrical contact is maintained while this thing is rotating. I picked up this hose at the town junkyard and I suspect the reason it was discarded is because the contacts right here are completely worn away. They're missing. That contact engages the third pin or the center pin here which is not used on uh, an application I'm going to try to use. I'm going to take this pin out and modify the cuff itself because there's a key in it. I'm going to grind the key off and then rewire the handle so that I can use it on another different machine. See the contact here and here is completely missing compared to the other two. You can clean up these contacts. They're going to have a lot of dust and dirt due to the vacuum sucking things in through every open air passage it has. And gently clean off these contacts too. There will be a lot of dirt and grime there. And if you're having intermittent contact problems, this should take care of it. So that's my tip for today. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.